Good morning, everybody. It is currently four minutes to eight in the morning on Wednesday, December 12th, uh, which means I technically missed my video day since for the last two days I've been on planes uh, flying from Victoria, BC to where I am now, which is Darwin, Australia. I don't know. There's the marina, which is right across from uh, the house that my parents are renting. This is our porch. It's all very nice and very warm, and very summery. Now that we got all that context out of the way, I guess I can continue on and actually go along with uh, the discussion that Brittany started yesterday, or today. I have no idea what day it is, or really what time it is. Brittany was asking what our dreams were, and that can be uh, taken to mean a lot of different things. Um, Usually when someone asks that, it's, it's your guidance counselor asking, really, uh, what university you want to go to. Because um, apparently you have to apply to university to graduate from high school, or is that just my school? But I think that it's more fun to talk about the dreams we have when we're asleep, because I think... Hello, cars. I'm filming outside on the porch because... You know, it's tropical, you should be outdoors. You know, I think the, the, the dreams that we have when we're sleeping are a really interesting insight into our mindset and how we think and, and, and just generally what's on our mind at the, at the point in time that we have those dreams. And my dreams are crazy. Like I once had a dream that I was best friends with a white supremacist and I didn't know. I dreamt that I was turning into paint once and my school guidance counselor thought that it was because my parents were getting divorced. They didn't get divorced, either in the dream or in real life. Sorry, my hair is getting long enough that it is almost at a state where it can be messy again. So, Which reminds me of a dream I had where I had a beard that had a mind of its own and was a serial killer. So I think that your dreams are an indication of what's on your mind. I don't think that a lot of the time they have much of a deeper purpose, but for someone like me who aspires to be a writer, there we go, that's a dream that I have, a goal. Uh, so for someone who aspires to be a writer, uh, the craziness and the, 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 the pure creativity that goes on in your dreams can be really inspiring. Um, more than once, I've written a short story or... More traffic. A short story or a, a piece of comedy based on a dream that I've had. And oftentimes, they're at the same time some of my weirdest and some of my most entertaining pieces of writing. So I think it's important to hold on to your dreams no matter where they come from, whether they're uh, your goals or simply the firing of your synapses uh, while you're unconscious. Because you never know when they're going to come in handy. Now I should probably go have some breakfast. I'm pretty sure we're going to a national park today. Or some excursion maybe it's tomorrow I don't know I will be bringing my crappy video camera and hopefully posting something about it maybe next week uh, so until then no have a good week guys I've missed you I've been on so many airplanes